welcome to the Property Elite podcast. I'll be your host, Jen Lehman, Chartered Surveyor and co-founder of Property Elite. Stay tuned each week for more on industry hot topics, market updates and new RICS guidance. In this week's video, we look at the RICS consultation on the RICS Valuation Global Standards, Red Book Global. This is essential listening and watching for all RICS APC and ASOT RICS candidates with valuation as a competency, as well as any qualified RICS registered valuers. You can view full date details of the consultation on our website blog. So what are the key dates? The consultation closed on the 8th of November 2021, with the changes planned to take effect from the 31st of January 2022. So what's the aim of the updates? RICS have confirmed that this is only an update to the Red Book Global 2020, rather than a full new edition. The aim of the update is to reflect changes to the International Valuation Standards 2022, as well as clarifying certain sections of the existing Red Book Global. What are the key changes? Emphasizing the need to agree clear and unambiguous terms of engagement, even when valuations are undertaken for accepted purposes, for example, where VPS 1 to 5 do not apply, under PS 1, Section 5. The terms quasi, partial, or non-red book should not be used in terms of engagement or reporting. Instead, the exception should be specifically stated and explained in the terms of engagement and valuation report. It also requires more detailed commentary on sustainability, resilience, and environmental, social, and governance, ESG, matters in VPGA8, Valuation of Real Property Interests. These terms are defined in Part 2 Glossary. There is also a reference to the proposed RICS Guidance Note, Sustainability and ESG in Commercial Property Valuation and Strategic Advice 3rd Edition, also due to be published in 2022. There are also various amendments made to the VPGAs, in particular VPGA 4, Individual Trade-Related Properties, and the reference to IVS 230 inventory. So what do valuers need to know? Valuers must refer to the latest RICS valuation guidance, as well as being aware of the changes and how they affect their valuation work. This will require careful consideration of the new RICS Red Book Global and amending any valuation templates or performers used, including reports and terms of engagement. Thanks for listening to the Property Elite podcast this week. Head to our website to check out our full blog, free and paid support resources and services, free consultation for every single RICS APC and ASOC RICS candidate, and also ask us any questions you have via the website chat blog. See you next week.